Hey there tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel, the place where we troubleshoot, simplify and solve all your tech challenges. Today we're diving into the installation of a very powerful and popular tool that manipulates PDFs and allows you to perform various operations on PDF files like merging, converting, adding images, compressing and many more. The best part is that the tool is completely free and can be installed easily by using Docker on your Synology NAS. Let's have a look. In order to install Sterling on your Synology NAS, you have to go and first of all create the destination folders where the installation will take place. So we go to File Station, Docker, we create a new folder, let's call it Test. After we have created the folder Test, we need to create the two folders required from the Sterling GitHub. And these folders are called Training Data and extra configs please make sure that you copy paste exactly the names because otherwise the installation will fail okay after we have the two folders created we go can go to container manager and create a new container let's put test set the path which we already created that would be test we don't want to upload a new Docker Compose YAML. We will create one for ourselves using the GitHub Compose file and have a look at it. We have we are using the Sterling PDF latest image. Let's put a port which will be forwarded. The volumes we have created correctly because we copy paste them and we have the envir environment variables that we don't need security because this docker will run in our internal network and the language let's put it english us click on next we want to set up a web portal in order to easily access starting application using hostname and click done wait for the build to complete the build was successfully completed and afterwards we go and name our sterling application we leave the ports 80 and 443 because these will be routed to 1235 which we added in the in the previous step and click create we give it a few minutes or a few seconds Let's see if the container is running perfect. It's running perfectly. Let's try to access the application. The application is running smoothly and we can access all the uh, available tools for us. Please have a look and play with it. It's really powerful and has many options, which normally you will find only in a paid version. Now the application is working perfectly. Let's do some things to it that will improve it at least visually let's go to open the composite yaml file add the following lines delete the extra spaces and in this one we will define a custom application name a custom description and how the application will be called in the in the bar let's save save our yaml file go to container manager stop it after the container is stopped rebuild the application using the new yaml file we have project test was successfully built wait a few minutes or a few moments and then open again the portal and we should have now a new name for our Sterling PDF application. If we click refresh, we see we have our new name of the application and the PDF, PDF writer as description. So please have a look in the configuration file that you find below and you can, you can customize your PDF exactly as you wish. That's it. 
You are all set up with Sterling PDF and ready to streamline your PDF management. Whether you are merging, splitting or editing PDF, this software has got you covered. I hope this tutorial made the setup process super easy. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more tech tips, tutorials and software reviews. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.